You know, just stay focused. That's that's really what it. That's really what it come down to. This life hits you. Yeah. Life hits you. you. People, a lot of people, they just stop. They say, "Fuck it, I'm gonna just do what I gotta deal with and do the music thing later." Nah, you gotta stay consistent, bro. If mm. you really wanna do this shit. Stop, can you listen in? Okay. Cause you know, little shorty, yeah, I'm with the shits. Yeah, take a real nigga just to handle it. Hit it once, bust it down. I know she. All right, my guy. You know, welcome back. What's good? What's good? You alright, buddy? Yes, yeah, sir. Ski. Yeah. So we in uh we we in a different studio now. Yeah, for sure. You know? Yeah, it's cool though. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking yeah. with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they ain't gonna be able to tell. Yeah. But just giving people that like background. You know, we got the cameraman over here and everything. Yeah, some my boy Kim, my lover boy over here. Yeah, so in love. You feel me? Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Well, yeah. Appreciate y'all pulling up. Yeah. Appreciate uh, you, bro. Yeah, definitely. Second interview. It's a lot more intimate. Uh, the space, you know, where we at, the growth. Yeah. Um, so definitely, you know, down and just get into it. Talk about, you know, just whatever. But before we get into that, uh, we'll just start off, you know, for the people that don't know you, mm -hmm. uh, the new viewers, you know, who are you? Where are you from? Uh, my name is SG Key. So I'm from Richmond, Virginia, specifically from the West End, you know what I'm saying? So we say y'all tap in with me, show some love. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, okay. So yeah, you, you put an emphasis on that West End, like yeah. what's the school to people? Uh, West End is just different from Richmond. The Richmond is like the inner city. West End is literally on the west side of uh, Richmond. Um, it's just, we different over there, you know what I'm saying? Our music style over there is more chill, more laid back. Um, yeah, but I'm specifically from the West End, Henrico. Um, it was where I'm from and I'm, I'm gonna rep my side, you feel me? Mm. That's where I'm from, yeah. Gotcha. I don't know if we talked about this. So you were born in uh, Richmond? I was born in Pennsylvania. Okay. But I've basically been here since I was a baby. I came here since I was like six months old to a year. Or, so I'm basically from Rich Richmond, yeah, for sure. Dope, dope. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I was about to say, because I don't know if I told you last time, uh, I was born in Richmond. Oh, where? Yeah. What part? Um, Whatever the main hospital is. I think it was in Ryko. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the West End. So, mm, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Solid. So, yeah, I was only out there for like a year and a half. Word. Ended up moving down here. That's all right, though. Yeah. yeah you definitely got to come back to your roots, though, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. But, um, yeah, also, um, speaking of Richmond, you know, just kind of want to touch basis, you know, we can get into your music in a minute mm -hmm. and the updates, but like just how is the, the scene, how you feel is growing? It's uh, growing. Okay. I feel like it's growing because I've uh, been doing this since like 20, end of 2015, 2016. So I've seen it grow in more media platforms, more shows, more a lot more outlets, more studios. Um, it's growing on that rapid pace. Now everybody's now trying to rap. You know what I'm saying? Not saying it's a bad thing, but you know, everybody's trying to get on the scene. They want to get noticed, stuff like that. Um, but it is growing that rapidly every day. And like everybody's showing love. It's it's great. I, I'm glad to see it, you know what I'm saying? Doing this thing for real. Um, as far as I think that it could do is like better. Um, I feel like we just need to push more, you know what I'm saying? Push more. Everybody need to come together. A lot, I feel like a lot of people, they just pick and choose who they want to work with and stuff like that so you know it's kind of like you gotta kind of get in that crowd to get noticed you know what I'm saying? if you do your own thing god will eventually you know let you shine for show yeah, yeah. no nah, it's no denying that so yeah you know um i love what you said about the whole coming together because that's been yeah. a conversation going on for years yeah and it's like damn i mean yeah. it's kind of slowly coming together but it's like i know we can do a lot better yeah it's easier said than done so yeah yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, also, um, you know, with the whole like coming together, who are some artists that, you know, you have or like want to work with in the Rich Mary? Um, be honest with you, I'm kind of just trying to focus it on myself right now. I ain't mm -hmm. really trying to work with any artists, but Not if any yet. artist yeah. was to come to me, um, obviously I want to work with like uh, FNM Chop, uh, G Sambo, people that are real buzz right now. Mm -hmm. um, just trying to do my thing for real yeah just really focus on myself but if anything come to me yeah and, and uh king delta too yeah he talked mm -hmm. to yeah or just cool. trying to work yeah do my thing okay yeah. okay well yeah what you doing your thing like what's uh what, what you got what's new oh i just Tell dropped the, uh, <laughs> i dropped a new tape called 90s baby i actually just dropped it um 
last week, I think it was June June 17th, I dropped it. No, June 16th, I dropped it. Um, I got 10 tracks on there. Um, some vibes for you. You know mm. what I'm saying? I've been working on it for like a year and a half now. Um, it's just basically just me just really focusing on my sound, me expanding my sound, um, and keying on on a lot of sounds that my my fans really like. Um, it's just really pretty much going from there, yeah. And just really just doing my thing on that joint for real. Like he's got mm -hmm. tapping and listening, and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's really, really. I kind of dropped it for real just to, uh, cause We the Hennessy was like my major project, my first like major one. Then I dropped Dear Miss Lady as an EP, but now this baby is kind of like, let's see what I can do now for We the Hennessy. Cause We the Hennessy to me was a big success. My first actual tape. That did good. Now I'm just trying to expand, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So does that uh, expansion include, like, I guess, you know, different areas or? Yeah. I'm just trying to just mm -hmm. uh, different cities, you know, mm -hmm. uh, tapping in with them, uh, going over there, doing shows, press runs, stuff mm -hmm. like that, you know? Um, and then it's also for like a tape for people who still don't, who haven't listened to me before, but just still trying to get on my wave of my sound and then on top of that with people who have listened to me before it's like i'm still giving y'all what y'all want you mm -hmm. know yeah because yeah. i know a lot of people like to do their you know uh tapes based off of where where they're going like right. i'm trying to take it to like you you right in the perfect place so you right up in dc yeah. about what an hour and a half two hours yeah come down here about the same yeah distance. it's like so, i'm right in the middle type shit yeah exactly so yeah. it's just kind of like i know a lot of people trying to expand out of va mm -hmm. but i know that comes with like a new sound a new fan base mm -hmm. so I, guess, I feel like everybody in dc the kind of try to sound the same and you know i feel like a lot of people in richmond they do try to take like a dc sound but now i feel like we're getting our sound now too mm -hmm. but um other than that yeah it's Everybody, they doing their thing though, for sure. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, dope, dope. So, I guess what would your favorite track be? On um, my tape? See, I, I kind of like classify them all as like my babies. So I like, I like all of them. Yeah, the same exact e way. Equal, equal love. But the one everybody's most attracted to is mm. called uh, Bust It Down. Okay. Um, I actually did like a little like, uh, I forgot what it's called. It's kind of like, a, mm, what should I say? It was kind of like a mic thing, a little like mic standoff thing or whatever. Mm. Oh, like, um, I know like off the mic type thing. Open mic. Yeah, or, open mic type thing. Yeah. But like it was recorded or whatever with my boy King Image. Mm. And I dropped that and it went crazy. Everybody was liking it. So that's why I was like, all right. So you, I kept, you kept that original audio? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah so that, solid. Kind of yeah. like an interlude type. Yeah, but yeah. it was like, it's on my gram though, and I just dropped it or whatever. Dope. And um, I dropped it. People was really fucking with it. Like, it was oh, this is the one that people were like yo like need to shoot a video to this. Like I'm trying to load their words to it. Mm -hmm. uh, I so I was like alright, fuck it. And I knew that was the hit. And then once I dropped my tape, everybody attracted that one. It was like yo, this the one. This the one. This the one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. I think that one right there. The ones everyone attracted to was that one. Um, I wouldn't say it's my favorite song, but it's definitely the one everybody attracted to for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's how you know it's real when you yeah. gotta add something. It's like you probably then you could record stuff from you know years ago or you ain't really rocking with it. But the people, hey, they got the final say, really. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. all right, it's yeah, what, we, we, we got a little motion. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm doing it for. So for yeah. sure, yeah. Nah, that's tough, man. Yeah. So, but yeah, I guess um, you, I guess treating your music that way. Like, how do you incorporate different sounds, but also still try to like. All right, well, maintain that level of equal love with each song. Because I know you got some form of, yeah. you know, favorite. I got to tap into this. Yeah. I just lo load it up with whatever sound, but you still got to be smart as an artist. How yeah. do you balance that up? Um, when I go into the studio, I really don't think about that for real. I kind of just create. Just flow. Just work. Um, and then when it's time for me to release my project, I kind of just uh, throw a little bit of everything in there. And then people just attract to it how they attract to it. Um, I don't really just focus on that for real for us. It's just what I'm feeling that day with that moment, that second. You know what I'm saying? I just just go with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. So, so you don't really do too much writing? I do. I uh -huh. do write as much as I can. Like when I go to the studio, usually I go, yeah. I'll, I'll book a session. 
strictly for beats, beats all day. Just cook me up beats. Wow, okay. And, and then just... if I'm feeling it, that's that beat right there. Oh, I'm getting straight into it or whatever. But sometimes I may have to sit down and write, make sure it's the right one. You know what I'm saying? Make sure what I'm saying is right. Cause that for that beat to be the right one, just like the busted down one, I knew was like the right one. I just had to figure out what I was gonna say, what I was gonna do to it. Mm -hmm. Once I figured it out, I was like, oh yeah, I'm going in, knocking it out. And it's like sometimes it be those songs that be like. It take like 15, 20 minutes to do, but they be those ones because it be like you just feeding off yourself, feeding off your energy to the engineer's energy, the producer's energy, mm -hmm. everybody in the studio energy. Because I was deep that day in the studio and they was like, oh yeah, Keys, you, you got one right here. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. No, yeah. no, okay. Yeah. yeah, so I guess who do you invite or not invite to your sessions? Because that's important. Yeah. Like you be in there like, all right, I got I got to kind of find my flow. Yeah. But at the same time, you still kind of want that that energy around. Yeah. So I mean, uh, most of the time, I'm using by myself because mm -hmm. uh, I just like the song. Yeah, I try yeah. to lock in. But specifically that day, we had uh, I had a late night session, and we had just come come out from like going out or whatever. So I just brought the guys to the studio. And I just recorded lit as a bitch, so like just recorded that shit. It was like, oh yeah, this, this it, this it, like you know what I mean. Mm. And I happened to be like five, six deep that day, type mm. of shit. So it was, it was a smooth ride for sure. Yeah, yeah, yo. yeah, yeah. You kind of need them days, like yeah. balance it out. Yeah, you definitely need that energy in the studio for sure. Cause I, I like to, uh, I'm, I'm not bad with taking criticism. Like I like criticism. I don't mm. like people telling me, oh yeah, it's good. I like it. Cause I feel like you just saying that because I'm right here. I need, what can I do different? Right, what can yeah, I do yeah. this? What can I do that? Like, there's nothing wrong with that. As long as it's, you know what I'm saying? You're not completely just shutting me down. Mm -hmm. Even even then, I wouldn't even mind. It's like, all right, they don't like my music because of X, Y, and Z. What can I do to make them better? Because you could be potentially be a fan. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's, I just take all that into consideration, even when I'm like, outside of the studio like what can i do better like as far as like making clothes or mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying branding myself better it's mm -hmm. just all just all of it consideration make me better as a brand so yeah for yeah. sure definitely so yeah you know also uh you know with them people it's like a lot of times people just be happy to be there so you yeah. don't really get that real reaction it's yeah like, they just hit yeah, the time cool. the studio yeah, yeah, yeah right yeah you hit them deep it's like oh damn that's your heart but yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they be wanting to, now I'm trying to say, they be wanting to do it themselves. They just happy mm -hmm. that I'm doing it, you know? Right. And I, I, I like that too, for sure. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. So, also, I'm going to say that, um, you know, a question I like to ask people, you mm -hmm. know, when I do like second, third interviews is, is like, I guess, what uh, have you been doing in the, in, in the, uh, what you call it? Like, in that middle time to, like, I guess, work on your craft and, like, take it from last time we sit down to where you are right now? Um, I feel like I'm just uh, focusing on my brand, making sure everything is on point. Like I said, uh, before I drop, it's like kind of like things that you have to do. Like, um, well, you gotta make sure you get the cover art right. Gotta be a good cover art. You gotta make sure you have the clothes in line. You gotta make sure you set up for like videos and press runs and shit like that. Cause my last tape, like, I, I think I shot one video to it, and it's like, I can't do that. Like, I gotta have a whole video. Like, I have mad videos, like, you know what I'm saying? I gotta have, trying to get a team. I had to get a, lo a new logo. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, like, I really started my solo career in 2020. So it's like, I gotta just keep building off that, building off that, because I was in a group before, so I had to just think about that. And, um, you know, and then really stay consistent, stay focused. Um, and then, you know, it's a lot of a lot of new things that's been thrown at me type shit. Like, you know, mm. I just uh I just got into a new relationship, so you know, I'm still I'm dealing with that. Mm. Uh, a lot of people done passed, a lot of a lot of I lost a, a lot of uh good of my friends. I got a couple of friends that's locked up, you know what I'm saying? Just stuff like yeah, that. Like that's the original people that's yeah. around me, not really around me as much. So <clears throat> you know what I'm saying, I gotta stay focused, keep mm. doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, just stay in focus. That's that's really what it that's really what it come down to. Cause life hits you. Yeah. Life hits you. you people a lot of people they just stop. They say, Fuck it, I'ma just do what I gotta deal with and do the music thing later. Nah, you gotta stay consistent, bro, if mm -hmm. you really wanna do this shit. Yeah, so sure. yeah. Yeah, definitely. So I like yeah. You definitely got a lot of hiccups I gotta deal with, but I'm cool with them though. That's just part of the the uh, journey. Yeah. Yeah. 
Definitely. So I, I like what you said, man. Just about uh, just every section, you know, you kind of ran through because it's important to get that. But we can sit up here and talk about music every day, uh, like all day. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you still need to like, man, this is really a grind. You, yeah. know, you got all these things to juggle, relationships, family, you know, your, your friends and other hardships and stuff like that. So, yeah. you know, definitely. But um, also speaking of that, like, how do you uh, maintain a certain level of uh, like your mental health? Because mm -hmm. that can be kind of taxing. You trying yeah. to take care of yourself. And of course, as a man. But then, ain't nobody coming to save you. you yeah, gotta do what you gotta do. No, nah, for real, for real. Um, me like really leaving Richmond and going out to a different state, seeing new things, um, just getting away from the city uh, for a little bit. It's really, I really hustle around mental health for real. I just gotta get away for a second. I just came back from Costa Rica, mm. type shit. That shit was exciting to see, and now it just make me inspire me to go rap even mm. more, type shit. Yeah. If I had the studio right then and there, I would have. You feel just me? Just to get into it. yeah, just get into it, just because it's just the energy, the vibe, and everything. And, you know, I really like going to Vegas. Tell you shit, that's like really mm -hmm. my spot. Like I really, been to, right. yeah, I go to Vegas every year. Every time like for I the play. vibe, yes, you, you bro, I love that shit. Yeah. I love that shit. That's my favorite place to go ever. Right. Yeah, so I just go out, you know, and then um, just just like like I said, I'm already good mentally or whatever, mm -hmm. but I'm not about to sit here and say everything don't get to me. Yeah. you know, because you know I'm human. Exactly. So, but other than that, yeah, I just try to stay away. You know what I'm saying? And I, I stay away from the bullshit. I stay to myself. I don't get involved in the mix in the crowd like I used to anymore. Cause it's no like point that's not healthy. Yeah. And much. people be on yeah, the same yeah, yeah. shit. Yeah, I feel like they just just it's like crabs in the bucket. Like they just be trying to just like knock you down, just make you want to do whatever they're doing. If they're doing negative shit, they, that's all they want you to do. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to be here. You right here. You need to be catching up to me, type shit. You know what I mean? I love shit that like you, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't got time for it, bro. I really don't. Like yeah. <laughs> as much yeah. as I like would love to be outside a lot, I'm like, man, I could be outside when I'm when I'm done grinding. Mm. You feel me type of shit. Like I'm I'm grinding now, so like I could party later. You know what I'm saying? I already been in the car, been there, seen that, done that, did everything I wanted to do. You you feel me? Like now I'm just trying to just really focus on myself. When we getting older, like I can't keep mm. Doing the same shit I was doing years ago. I'm trying to level up. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, now I was about to say, I love what you just said there. Just because it's like, just because we out of like school and out of them younger years. Yeah. Don't mean we don't finish, uh, grad, uh, we, we stop graduating. Yeah. So, it's like, you know, the, the scene you was in five years ago, it's some young folks that are just figuring that out. Now yeah. you like, all right, I'm kind of over this. Yeah. So it's like a cycle. So it's like, all right, you kind of transition to something different. Yeah, I felt like when I turned 25, yeah. I felt like that was that transition for me. Like, all right, it's just like a new me now. Like, I just felt different. Like, all right, I need to just do something different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just even trying to live up in life, trying to get a house, mm. better cars, yeah, shit like that. Just really just real, trying to just separate real myself. life shit. Yeah, like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Just... Just trying to do everything. Yeah. 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 Invest in, take care of your family. Yeah, and all yeah. That. get a bigger bag. Like a mm. lot of people a lot of people to this day don't even have like a literally a thousand dollars to their name. Mm. Not even five thousand dollars to their name type mm. shit. It'd be shit like that. Like I can't be in that type of box, like that yeah. frame that just or the situation. That shit yeah. is stressful. Yeah, like then they did that, you know, it's like, you know, it's all right, we we on the bigger and better, like you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it all takes time, you know. Everybody's time is different. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying you gotta do it like right now. But some people, they just, they a lot of people, they don't know what they want to do in their life. I'm a good thing. I know what I want to do in my life, mm -hmm. so it's a little easier for me. But like Jay Z, he didn't start rapping till he was 27. Now look at him, a Crazy. millionaire. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I turned 27 next year, mm -hmm. so it just made me think, like, damn, like I'm already. 10 steps ahead, just mm -hmm. you know, I already know what I want to do type shit. And especially with the technology that we got. Yeah. Like you, you know, say he didn't even have yeah. his own platform back yeah, then. Yeah, it was way it. harder back then. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, get to it. So, you know, leading into my next point, like, uh, you know, how is um, your affection for technology? Because we got the AI. There's just so much going on. Yeah. So are you keeping up with those type of things yeah. in terms of like your music and stuff? Yeah, it's cool. I really don't like the AI thing though. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's just cheating. 
Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's it really is cheap. I don't know how you yeah. fucking police that shit. Yeah, like, yeah that like, shit is cheap. How do you control? Yeah, yeah. And then like you see a whole bunch of like memes and shit going on. Like people really like making them really sound like them. It's crazy. Like it can sound, be you. Look and yet yeah, everything like, but that shit is crazy. I don't mm. like it, bro. And then like I know that's gonna be the next big thing though. Mm. So, so you you just gotta gotta get with it. I'm yeah. not trying to get with that. And that's what I'm not trying to get with. Nah, cause I. I mean, I heard a lot of labels now and stuff like that. Like, they're mm-hmm. trying to just, like, completely ban it. They're, they're trying to go for it, getting it banned. Mm-hmm. But you can't stop someone that's on the wave to be something great. And it, and it yeah. make, make things faster. So it's like somebody's yeah. going to pick it up. Yeah. And it's going to create, like you said, that bigger bag. So yeah. you don't want to miss out on that. Just like how everybody's down in yeah. the crypto. Yeah. And not saying that you had to stick with it, but get in, get out, however you play it. Yeah. And it's just like... I don't know. This is a lot to kind of, you know, uh, digest. I guess yeah. in the tech world. Yeah, but yeah. like I ain't gonna hold you. I haven't heard too much about the AIs anymore though. So it was mm. big a couple months ago. Yeah, it kind of yeah. comes up. It's like a super big yeah. wave. You hear about it every fucking hour for yeah. a week, and it disappears for a little yeah. bit, and then. But AI do got a good couple things. Like uh, my roommate was telling me, um, like he hit the AI up to be like, he write me. Um, paragraph like two paragraphs about how I can do X, Y, and Z, and they literally wrote it out for them right then and there in like three minutes or that's whatever, crazy. and they they sent it in or whatever got the job like type shit. I'm like that's wow. crazy. Like, that is yeah. Like you would never know. Yeah, you would never I, know. I, I think we're headed towards a certain level of like human yeah. tech robot uh, yeah robot. robots and shit uh, yeah, yeah. And, and like you see it now like you see them dogs and shit yeah yeah like robotic dogs it's, like, oh, it's kind of inevitable yeah. I mean the more you advance technology it's like we're gonna try to merge like you say alright we get certain things done it's kind of like alright like a what is that about the what 50s or something like that when people was really like out working and one or like cell phones all that like really going yeah. crazy yeah. and i was like it's like damn the cell phone is like how you just connect with somebody I had to write a letter or yeah. wait a month to get it back and all yeah. that type of stuff so yeah it's like back in the who day knows? Like you really had to be outside to see what was going on now it's like you call somebody you already know what they do and you go look yeah. at your phone you already know where they at type shit like and it's then, crazy like and the craziest part is like what i guess in the next 10 20 years yeah. is that escalation gonna look like because you know it's like cell phones i mean that's kind of normal mm-hmm. but somebody back in the day it's like i would have never have like dreamed yeah. that a thought but it's like by 2030 or well, 2040 or something it's like we probably be looking like how the fuck did we get here yeah yeah like I'm, I'm actually excited know. to see what's what's what yeah. happening in the next upcoming yeah. years for sure like yeah, yeah. definitely so yeah i would say that um you know, definitely better at least pay attention to it. Like if you know, uh, and this for everybody, but like, uh, even if you don't get into it, you gotta just you know stay on Except the way. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, also, um, you know, some some great convo right there. Yeah, I do. For, for yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Do want to get back into the music though yeah, for uh, sure. side of things and talk about like just how you um, curate. And, and put together like your lyrics. So when it comes down to actually writing, is it something that comes to you? Or are you actually try to be a little thoughtful and put together like a storyline? It depends on what track. For mm-hmm. real, it depends on the beat. It depends on how I'm feeling at the time, for real. Like, but, um, you know, you got some tracks that just come to me, like, boom, just come to me. And some tracks I'm like, all right, I sit back and write this one. This one, I, I, I'm thinking in my mind what I already wanted to be. And I just go from there or whatever. Yeah. It's like every, like I said, every track is different. Like, so mm-hmm. I can't really say for real. Like, like I said, I just be working. I be creating whenever I do. It just come mm-hmm. at the time. It, it, yeah. It get put together. Mm-hmm. But I really got to give like a big shout out to my engineers though, for real. Because they really make everything happen for me. Mm-hmm. Type shit. You know, they just, they help create the sound. They help create in my sound. They help make my sound better. They help me, uh, like he even help me with like with a bar here and there. Like if I feel like I'm getting stuck on something, he'll be like, "Oh, just say this." I'll be like, "All right," and we sounding good. Like a lot of people don't even know, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But I always give a big shout out to my uh, to my producers for real. Yeah, yeah. and engineers. That's dope. You got yeah. that team. 
Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's coming together. It's coming mm-hmm. together. Yeah. But, nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah. So how, how important is that, like, uh, camaraderie uh, to you? Like, it could be music or just life. Like, I mean, like you mentioned family and, rela- you know, your new relationship, just having people around. Um, It's good for real because you, you need that energy, like I said. You know? It's positive, you know, because I'm really sensitive to everything that goes on around me. So I just try to stay, like I said, try to stay positive and having that good energy around me. Like I said, I ain't with no negative shit, like, mm. for sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. you know, I guess when you, you know, do talk about your music, um, you know, when the topics come up, it's like, you know, kind of veering away from the question I just asked, but in the same tone, like, what, what do you try to, I guess, like, convey? Like, what message, what do you like to talk about? Um, I really like to talk about like what I do during the day. You know what I'm saying? Um, just like smoking weed, currency. I can't really talk shit. about. I mean, I talk about girls, but you know, I gotta be mm. a little more respectful now because I got a girl now. Um, just hanging out with the gang, smoking weed, chilling. You know, mm. um, and then when I go to different states, talk about what I see out there, seeing different things, doing different things. Um, like new clothes, shit like that, you just everything, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you about to start, about, making, start making love songs? I mean, I did a whole love tape. It's called uh-huh. Dear Miss Lady. Oh, it's like, it an EP. Yeah, I did uh-huh. it. Uh, 2021. Yeah. Oh, okay, so that mm-hmm. was probably like right after we sat down. Yeah. Me. That was right after, yeah, because I think I was just promoting. Nah, I was doing promoting the Dear Miss Lady when I did when I did that song with you. You did? Yeah, I think I was okay. promoting that. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Church, right? No, no, no. I, didn't, I don't think I dropped it yet. I don't think I dropped it. I think I was about to drop it. I, I dropped it on. Uh, I mean, yeah, you got to do a whole different, you know, uh, take because you got a whole new situation. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But, um, yeah, um, my message for real is just, you know, just trying to stay positive, staying out the way, really getting money. You know what I'm saying? Just mm-hmm. that that's what that's what my real, like, message is for real type shit. Mm-hmm. I try to stay away from, like, that, uh, that drill shit. Mm. Shoot them up type shit. You know mm. what I'm saying? That ain't, ain't nothing wrong with it, but I feel like a lot of artists, they just uh, be kind of portraying a bad message with that. And I feel like when they get caught up or they when they get Ricos and shit like that, that's when they want to, oh, stop the violence. Yeah, like, it's already too late at that point. Like, you already in some shit. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah, because you really got to be smart nowadays because, like, nowadays it's like, even if you, like, post a gun, they are they already on your ass. So you can be a local nigga. Nigga be on your ass about that shit. Bro. Mm-hmm. Like it just just depends. Yeah, it's different they, strokes with different folks. Like yeah, they they got all the data in the world too. Yeah, just the police. Man, there's a lot there. of weight. Cause if we notice, there's like there's a there's mad police in um hip hop, but there's no police in like rock, fucking country music, shit like that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like and they probably be doing way more shit than us. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. They be doing way more shit, and they have way more money than us, like, you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. the hip, hip-hop industry, it's like the biggest uh, music out right now. But, bro, when you go to a country show, like I've been to a few country shows, bro, they be crazy. Mm-hmm. Country shows and rock shows, they be crazy. I know, especially rock. You ever been to, like, uh, I've been a to, rave? Um, nah, I do uh-huh. want to go to one just to experience it, just to yeah. see what it is. Yeah, um, it's- I I, can't, I, did, I did go to one wave, one, one rave. It was at the National, and um, I've been to like what's that? What's that show? Because I went to a Wiz Khalifa show. I went to a Wiz and Fall Out Boy, and that show was crazy. Like their energy was just, and they're like I feel like they way more loyal. Like nowadays, I feel like for a rapper, like you're more easy to get canceled if you just say the wrong thing, do the wrong thing. Yeah. They quit to cancel you. They quit to cut you out, lowball you, type of shit. Yeah, and I'll say it's like the most popular in both ways because it could be positive or negative. Yeah. So you, when you popping, you popping, and it's like the number one, you know, music yeah, it's like genre. They build you up to tell you, tell you right back down. Like, yep. Yeah, yeah. When shit just go sour, so you just gotta really be solid. And shout out to. Um, it is kind of a side point, mm. but I do want to get your thoughts on this sport. Do yeah. you follow sports? Yeah, not for sure. Yeah. Okay, so just like high music, you kind of got to have that, like you brought up Jay-Z earlier too, like mm. that certain image. Yeah. And, you know, um, 
you just kind of working your way up, you know, uh, to that point, mm -hmm. being solid. But like, you know, LeBron, he had popped in my mind. So I'm like, see, he ain't really had nothing going on. Mm -hmm. Just kind of just coasted through 20 years. I mean, that's, that, that's, that's hard to do. Commendable. Yeah. That's hard to do, bro. No yeah. hiccups. He had no hiccups, except for that one time he got in a fight with bro from the Pistons. He was going nuts. I don't oh, think you remember yeah, that. Yeah, you remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like, what, a couple years ago. That was yeah, he got right. suspended like the first time yeah. ever in his career in like 19 years. Funny. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, LeBron had no hiccups. He'd been straight smooth sailing. But yeah. that's how you got to be, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the only way you can be. Because as soon as you slip up, they just look at you different. Exactly. Yeah, look at Kyrie Irving, like, he just, he can't say what he want to say. And he ain't even really get as much money as he yeah. could He could have really got that super max. Or yeah, something Colin like. Kaepernick. Yeah. Niggas getting max, he taking it in. Like, it'd be shit like that. John Moran. Yeah, John yeah. Moran. But I feel like some of that stuff he didn't put on himself, though. Yeah. Yeah, John, he's just being young, though. Right. But... Yeah, yeah but, he get it back. Yeah, no, he is. He good, bro. He he still got his oh, yeah. deal from Nike. Oh yeah, he still, oh, yeah. Oh, he still got it. He okay. still got that shit, nice, bro. Nice. He, bro. I would ride with him too. He like the Allen Iverson of our generation. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so it's just you know, he. I feel like he just need that kind of. I ain't even gonna say he needs guidance. So I mean, he I do. say let people do. Yeah, do what they do. Yeah, but, he just got to fix his crowd that's around him. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And just kind of get into it. So. Yeah, but yeah. um, shit. Any other uh topics? You know, I know we we talk more about the tape, but like in a uh, certain a different, you know, space. Yeah, nah, I'm good for so. real. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you for letting me come here. Straight, you got nothing else you want to talk about? Um, no, I'm good for it. Okay, man. okay. Just, I was just highlighting with you, yeah. For yeah. Sure. But yeah I pre like I said, I appreciate yeah. you for letting me be on your platform once again. And you know, I'm mm -hmm. definitely coming back again once I once I drop something yeah. new. So yeah, yeah I appreciate definitely. you rocking with me for sure. Yeah, appreciate you rocking with me again yeah. as well. Cause you know, out of all how many of interviews I done did, it's probably been about no more than ten people just came back. Word? At least twice. I've had, like, some people come back, like, three. Mm -hmm. Maybe two people come back, like, yeah, you know. About I, I see time. you doing your thing, though. Like, yeah. every time I go on your page, you got a new interview out. So, yeah, just keep grinding. Yeah, I'm, I'm revamping it, so. Yeah. But, um, yeah, just wanted to make sure we, this ain't, like, a closeout. This is, like, just genuine comfort. I'm like, yeah. I just make sure you getting all the content that you want. So, I was just kind of thinking. Even with the prize at uh no yeah, she like yeah, you know, songs and all that. But if you straight, I'm straight. Yeah, I'm good. So, I'm okay. for sure. All right, that's a bet. Yeah, say we at about thirty two, that's perfect. That's all right. All right, no guy. Yep. So yeah, we got S G Keys. Yeah, man, back again. Back again. Nineties baby out right now, all streaming platforms. Make sure y'all tap in. Make sure y'all tap in my old work too, you know what I'm saying? Do your homework. Before you do your new work, you know what I'm saying? So Yes, sir. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And we out. And I know she loving it. Yeah, I know she loving it. Stop, can you listen in? Cause you know, little shorty, yeah, I'm with the shits.